Hello everyone, Jim Hickey here again with a follow-up tutorial to the Making a Simple Squeeze page with Weebly.com. Um, at the end of that video the other day, I promised that I would show you how to download that page um, onto your own computer and then subsequently upload it onto your own host service for those of you that have such a thing so that you can actually get this web page out there with your own domain name at your own host, um, which gives us greater sense of professionalism, if you will, for those people who are doing that. Okay, so uh, let's see. First thing I want to do is remind you of what the page was. So here's a copy of that web page that is currently housed or homed at the Weebly site with a subdomain name, the home biz a team up here, dot Weebly dot com. It's the above the fold design. I've actually tweaked this from the way I left you folks the other day, when I made some changes. One of the things you got to get used to in doing these things is subsequently making those sorts of changes. Now, there's a few other things you need to be aware of. Um, one, if you've got your own host, you know you're already familiar with FTPing and you know big transferring files from your computer up to that computer and so uh, forth. Um, you know, maintaining that service. Uh, for those of you who are interested in doing it but haven't been there yet, you know, you still have to might have to learn how to do things like get your own uh, domain name, sign up and get a host service, uh, and then learn how to transfer those files. And uh, I'm not going to do that here. You know, I want to move this right along. This is a pretty straightforward process. But I will show you a site where you can go in and watch another set of videos. Again, these are all free. And if you look at this video list down here at becomeablogger.com, you'll notice that, well, first of all, they're pushing using a WordPress, WordPress blog, which is one of the blogs that I use. But it also has videos on how to get your own domain name, get a web host, how to install WordPress if you want to house your own uh, blog on your own host, how to upload the files using the FTP, all the things you'd need to do. In, basically to you know facilitate some of the things I'm going to do here today. So I'm not going to spend any time doing that. Here's where you can go to get that. And again, I actually give you a URL here back on this opening slide here. This URL here, if you type that into your browser, that'll take you right to that site again. If you want to learn how to get your domain name, all that, you can go there and revisit that. Okay. So our goal is ultimately to get this page off the Weebly site and up onto my own domain site. So in order to do that, I have to go to Weebly.com, log on to Weebly, which I'll do here quickly. Okay. Once you're in Weebly, it'll show you the status of what pages you have or what sites you have. I have two sites. I believe that's all you're allowed as a, as a free member. Um, the site that I was working on the other day, this one here, Home Biz A Team. I want to go in and edit the site. Once the editing window opens up, everything's hunky dory. We can see all of the efforts that I made the other day, including some of the changes I've made since then. You know, all the little elements and all their pieces, parts are laid out in here, just like we did the other day. Okay, great. Now, in order to transfer this file down off the site, and Weebly allows you to do this for free. Synthesite is another site that allows you to do this for free. In BlinkWeb, uh, one of the other sites I've mentioned in one of my other blog postings, you can download it from there as well, but I believe there's a $10 charge in order to do that. Weebly's nice. They let you do it for nothing, at least at this point in time. So we're going to come over to here, click on the Settings tab, okay? go away from the Design element, come down here to the Archive Unpublished tab. I don't want to unpublish this thing. It can stay up at Weebly, that's fine, but I do want to download this onto my website. So I'm going to click this download tab. It'll start the download for me, as you can see here. Um, I'm using Mozilla uh, Firefox, so it has its own little download program. Hit OK. It's designated to download this thing right to my uh, desktop, so it's already done that. It's only going to take a flash second. It's a very small file, at least as it's archived. Then we can go back in here and close this. Okay. And um, I'll show you where this file is here for a moment. 
basically what it did is it brought in this little zip file over here on my desktop. Well, actually, let me minimize this. Here's a zip file. Okay. Oops. Nope. It's not let me put it go over there. Anyway, so one of the things I'm going to want to do is create a new folder. Create the new folder. Come over under your desktop area. Again, what I did is I right click my mouse, come down here to New, click on Folder. It opens a folder. You can't see this, it's just outside the image of the, uh, the viewing area, but it opened a new folder. I'm going to give it a name that says Biz18, oops, excuse me, Home Biz18. Okay, and once I've done that, I'm going to transfer that zip file that I just downloaded into that folder. Okay. Now let's see if this will let me drag this. No. It wants to keep everything back into this nice little order over there and doesn't want to let me move the file into the viewing area. Okay. Well, at any rate, now that I have that folder and I have the zip file in it, I have to unzip those files into that folder. I hit the extract button on WinZip, which is the uh, an archiving program I keep on my computer. Go to my desktop, go find the home biz18 folder, click on that, hit extract. That will actually extract the files I need to upload onto my host, host service. Okay, then I can close WinZip. Say so I have the files here. Here's the original zip file that it downloaded from Weebly. I can actually now get rid of that. I don't need it anymore. So I can delete it. These are the files that I actually want to upload onto my um, host site at HostGator. Okay. Now I have to use an FTP program called FileZilla in order to do that. So I'll open up FileZilla. Let me bring this into the viewing area. Once I do that, I can log on to my host. Once it logs me on, I can see all of the folders I have up on my host data site. I want to scroll down, find the public HTML folder, click on that, open it up. Then I'm going to come over to this other window on the left hand side and you'll notice that folder I just created, HomeBiz A Team. I want to highlight that, right click the mouse button, click on upload and then the program will go in and do what it needs to do to transfer all those files up onto the HostGator site. Okay. And you can see as it's moving along, and when it's done, up here it'll say directory listing successful. So now that I have the HomeBiz18 folder up on my site, I'm all set to go. Now how do I know that it's there? Well, I'm just going to close out FileZilla, I'm going to close this local folder that I had on my uh, computer, reopen okay, my little um, browser here that I had open to do this demo. Okay. Here's the site we wanted. This again is the one at Weebly. Okay. We want to check to see if it's actually on the HostGator site. So if I come over here to a new unopened um, tab, type in my domain name forward slash home biz a team hit enter voila <clears throat> okay now you can see that I've actually managed to download that onto my computer upload it to HostGator it now uh, resides on that site it's using my domain with the um, well, page name as it, it turns out to be in this case. So it's a rather simple process in order to do this. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope you learned something from it. Anyways, this is Jim Hickey. If you want to get in touch with me, there's my blog, there's my email. Again, here's some instructions again on how to do all of this thing, uh, do this transfer. Again, hope you benefited from it. Have a good day. We'll see you again soon.